Hello friends, it's Sasha here and Art Fischler School Channel. So happy to see you here and let's paint a beautiful breakfast. So first please tape your paper on table with the uh, tape and then we'll do the sketch. First we will do the plate, it's just like an oval. And then we will do a couple of uh, pancakes. Uh, so it's also an oval, almost and with a little thickness and each one we make in uh, you can do it not not too right so your form shouldn't be like a right oval just try to follow the reference or even if it will be a little bit different it's still okay so step by step we're doing some of them and then we will make some berries. So first is raspberry and uh, this one uh, has a little bit different form. Please make them different and it's a little bit bigger. And then small blueberries. Uh, they have a small holes, also same like raspberry. And we'll do them on the different parts of our pancakes and some on the plate. Also, don't forget about thickness on the plate. And let's erase some lines which we no need to do. And now we can start to paint it. Uh, and now we need to make honey. So for the honey we are doing this big drop which falls down, uh, which going down on the pancakes. And slowly, slowly, slowly going down. And also here on top uh, we are making this transparent and uh, glass jug for the honey. And now we are ready to paint it. So first some water. And now we are mixing color for the background. It's purple mixed with a little bit of brown. And now it looks very very light. Please first layer let's do light. It's actually only the folds here. And uh, most shadows under the jug and under the plate. and two folds on the sides. You can do less, you can do more, it's totally fine if you will make it a little bit different. Uh, now it looks a little bit light, but we'll see, maybe in the end we will add some more shadows, but please make sure exactly under the plate it should be uh, darker because that's really shady space okay next step is plate so for this um, place we will choose blue color it will look very beautiful and contrasting with the pancakes color uh, and I'm gonna use turquoise, it's more like aqua blue. Uh, for this uh, I will mix sky blue. And a little bit of emerald. And it also can be a little bit of... Um, 
um, just small drop of dark brown to make this color not too bright okay and now it's time to paint a shadow on the right side uh, under the our pancakes so I'm using some purple color and uh, a little bit of brown and making this part even darker because it's shadow from the pancakes so here you can see uh, that my brush uh, is actually quite big because it's very comfortable uh, but it's oblique because it will help me to go inside of the small some small things uh, so now we are painting the jack with the same colors it's also some um, purple and blue reflections on it and now I'll leave it to dry so now it's time to paint pancakes and first we will do the uh, tone for all, all of them and uh, it will be uh, first a little bit of water but you can be actually more brave because I'm showing on the first one but you can color them all uh, I'm using yellow okra and some of red brown for them mixing them together and with a very light tone first I'm just coloring the background the base color for all the pancakes Uh, you can see I changed the brush here for the circle one with a thin end And now I'm using a napkin to make some white holes on the pancakes. Okay, and now we can continue and color all of them with the same color. I'm just keep going. I add a little bit more yellow okra and doing it a little bit more yellow. Okay, so now we finish and we are ready to paint honey. For the honey, I'm also using yellow okra and uh, a little bit of same red brown, even small drop of really bright red color. Uh, and now. Uh, we need to show the thinnest of uh, plate and for this uh, I'm using a little bit more purple to show the edge of the plate okay so now it's time to show the uh, shadows on the pancakes and you can see I'm using dark brown and just somewhere I put this color around the uh, berries and somewhere inside of this brown color I'm like re-washing it I'm like trying with water and brush uh, let's say wash some color out and make some holes so you can see uh, I add more brown on the right side again uh, under the berries And also I did the shadow under the first pancake uh, with the dark brown it's like the darkest brown I have and same thing we need to do for the all pancakes with the same uh, colors 
you can see I'm doing dark line under the first one and then I'm like washing it and now guys it's time to paint berries so first I'm doing my raspberry red and then I'm taking a pink color and as usually I'm starting on the dark side so here is right side and here I'm doing a line and after going upper and upper so here it's very important to keep the light and shadows so first uh, make sure that right side is a bit more intensive and darker than left side and then top you will see now how I will do this so this berry I will show you how to paint on the dry paper so first we just do in the line wash our brush drying it a little bit on the napkin or by fingers and here I'm I just realized that I need a little bit more light so here coming back to the second berry we are with a light pink color just finishing this berry so here you can see bit bigger contrast yeah and same thing we're doing with the all berries For the first one I realized it's not enough uh, intensive and bright um, on the right side <laughs> and decided to add a little bit more color and also inside of this berry I'm putting some more color to show the hole. Okay now it's time for the blueberries. First I'm wetting them and then I'll mix color looks like uh, let's say indigo color. It's black or better if you will use dark brown mixed like this one you see it's like cool dark brown uh, I'm not naming the colors because everyone had uh, have different um, kind of watercolors so here I'm adding a little bit more blue should be more intensive so let's say a little bit more blue it's like base color and less brown yeah so it should be more bluish than brown and then we are doing outline for this berry for all of them and you will see that um, reflections on those berries they are a little bit in a blur so there's edges um, how to say the outlines I a uh, little bit wash with the water shaded and same we're doing for the all berries and putting some small holes inside uh, I'm I've been using actually same color but it looks like black okay and now it's time for honey for this big uh, and sweet drop so first I'm gonna use the red brown and here will be reflection so you can see I did outline it's very clear here and then on the right side um, I need to a little bit um, shade this to the right side actually so here we only working with the brown colors and okra it's still same so some okra but more intensive and more open color more clear color and 
one we are going down and down and down and on the last drop in the very down uh, we need to do one more reflection also very clear and readable reflection here I add the um, shadow uh, because it's uh, the drop of honey, it's a bit transparent, so we can see shadow between of the pancakes. And here I'm also been using uh, dark brown. And this reflection, okay. And we're doing the same with the colors with the brown and yellow ochre. So on the left side, red brown. On the right side, yellow ochre. continue till the berry uh, here um, I would like to add some more bright colors so to make it a little bit more contrasting more intensive brown and okra and even some kind of dark brown for shadows here so if it's liquid it looks always so naturally when you're making a big contrast between light and shadows. Okay, and now we can make more details with the berries. Uh, so here we need to do outlines for each piece of the raspberry. You can do outlines or we can do uh, like each piece by the small mm, space. You see, there is two different methods. So outlines can be dark or worse wise they can be light. It's up to you, but honestly, I think make uh, dark outlines is easier. On the shadow side, we making them a little bit more intensive and uh, even bigger. And on the light side, you'll see I make them a little bit more light and transparent and even smaller. So here you can see I'm making them a little bit easier, a little bit lighter. I already want to eat them. <laughs> yeah, and the same for all the berries. Uh, and also I did the whole inside of the raspberry a little bit darker. So guys. We are almost done here. The next step, I realized now that shadows here are still quite light and I'm gonna add some more dark shadows here under the pancakes and a little bit um, under the berries, blueberries. But shade this edge, yeah. And it's also a little bit honey inside of this uh, plate so you can add some more okra or red brown if you wish to like i just did and also there is um it's like not enough uh, shadows between of the pancakes here and i wish to um separate them from each other a little bit with the shadows and here i'm gonna add some more dark brown so here also um 
I would like to work a little bit more with the texture and uh, I wet this piece of the pancake a little bit and doing this ovals same you can do on each one so now guys when we come in closer to the end you just need to stay a little bit more, um, more far from your artwork and try to understand where you feel like you need to add something it's usually contrast it's usually some details and uh, if it looks like this on my artwork it doesn't mean you made same and maybe you need to do a little bit different things in the end so here I realized for example that I need a little bit more shadows a little bit more texture on the uh, top pancake and uh, some shadows on the left sorry on the right side uh, of uh, honey But I'm sure it can be different on your artwork. So as more details and holes you will paint, as more natural your artwork will look like. Also I decided to make a little bit more dark shadows under the blade, because now, uh, do you remember in the beginning that was quite light and looks okay, but now uh, compared to our berries and all the details of the pancakes, it's too light for the shadow. So I'd like to add a little bit more tone. That's um, purple and brown color. Uh, and now uh, the last thing we need to do is reflections. Uh, for them I will use the smallest brush. I have its number 3 and some white acrylic. You can use white uh, gouache or white acrylic is the best. I know there is sometimes white watercolor in uh, our watercolors, but it's usually not enough intensive. So I prefer to use gouache or acrylic. Uh, actually, in classic um, fine art, in classic schools, um, we are not allowed to use white or black colors because in uh, real life, in nature, you never see them. Uh, there are so many objects around and they given um, some different kind of colors, reflections. But here it's more like illustration. So you can easily use white colors and it makes it a little bit more maybe cartoonish style, but actually I like it. Yeah, you see, it looks even more bright, right? So I like this effect. If I couldn't use this in my art school, that doesn't mean I cannot use it in my life. Especially if you're doing it just for uh, like like hobby, for enjoy the painting, or you're gonna work as an illustrator, that's totally fine. Um, so on the liquid, on the honey, it should be very contrasting if I see some dark shadows I'm using it on the dark shadows and um, uh, guys I have one more secret which I'm usually using on my watercolors it's black pen it's also in classic uh, fine art it's not allowed to use but I'm gonna use it for some details too in the very very end but you can use just uh, dark colors like I'm doing now you can see so I again mixed a little bit more of dark brown and purple and it looks almost black and I just add it a little bit more inside of the berries so now it's time for the black pen but you can miss this part actually uh, I will do it everywhere where is shadows dark and where is some details and now I would like to say you thank you so much for 
been with me on my channel and guys now I open my Patreon finally I did it and um, there is some different options of my support you can just donate but I have uh, four different kind of support you can support me and I will support you I can give you my feedbacks my uh, line art here and I will show you my references I've been using to make those artworks so please if you want to support me if you enjoy this channel you can go on the patreon link which I'll put down below and also please guys don't forget to uh, write your comments and uh, to suggest some themes which you would like to see on the next videos and please uh, don't forget to like video if that was really helpful for you it means a lot for me and honestly it's one of the best feedbacks you can give me I'm doing it for your guys so I'll be happy to uh, see some of your feedbacks so thank you so much guys one more time and see you on my next videos bye bye